Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add or change a background image stamp with your Canon printer. So if you want an image overlay or underlay, I guess, to appear under the text, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make that modification. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and type in control panel. Best result should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. So your view by up in the top right, the category view, and then you want to select hardware and sound. Underneath devices and printers, select advanced printer setup. And now select your printer from this list. Again, it'll probably be a Canon printer if you're on this tutorial. And then you want to go down and select printing preferences. And now that we are on the printing preferences window, you want to select page setup. And at the bottom, there should be a stamp slash background button. Go ahead and left click on that. So if you want to add a background, you can check mark that box in here and you can select the select background button from there. Now there will be a default file template that Canon provides and you can select the select file button, in which case you can select one of these. Otherwise you can input your own as well by either finding one in that folder or you can just select file then locate to wherever on your computer you may have those pictures. And you can select if you wanted to fill up the whole page, fit to the paper size, top left, bottom right. You have all these different custom options there. You can just move it around if you so choose to do so as well. And you can adjust the opacity by adjusting this little scroll bar here. And then you can select default. If you just want to go back to default, which in our case there was none. So select OK. And that's how you can either enable or disable that background, which should also reflect on this preview image up here. And you can also have a stamp. So if you want to have the word draft or some other specific word, sort of like recycling and porn, confidential, you can do that in here too. And you can define the stamp by selecting that and then changing what the text of that stamp says. Adjust the font, the style, the text, color, the size, all that good stuff and then you would select OK to save the changes. I'm going to uncheck all those options, but if you ever made any mistakes, you want to go back to default, just select the default button, and that's all you'd have to do. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.